You know, while Florida, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands brace for Hurricane Irma, people on the Gulf Coast of Texas are starting to put their lives back together following the destruction from Harvey. Anna Bellaval explains how you can still help, Anna. We are at the American Red Cross in Chicago, specifically at their Emergency Operations Center. What happens here is these guys you see around me are dealing with those volunteers that are still being deployed, not only to the Harvey-affected areas, but also to the ones that will be soon affected by Hurricane Irma. But we're talking Harvey today because you can continue to help Harvey, and WGN has partnered with the Red Cross, and you can text right now and throughout the day the word Harvey, like the hurricane, to 90999. Text Harvey to 90999. Or you can also check the Red Cross website at www.redcross.org to find out more information on how you can help. Our very own Patrick Elwood is in Houston talking and helping and working with those volunteers that the Red Cross has there already. And we're going to check in with him right now. Hi, Patrick. Hola, Annabella Val. Greetings from downtown Houston in the heart of Houston. This is the George R. Brown Convention Center, which has doubled as a Red Cross shelter since Harvey hit, downs, hit town some 10 days ago or thereabouts. The water has mostly receded in town. Outlying areas still very wet, but that water dissipating, though, quite obvious to see mounds and mounds of debris street after street from people's homes. Anything touched by floodwaters has got to go. But for thousands and thousands of people who are out of their homes still or who rent, in many cases, the shelters are the place for them. One gentleman tells me that Hurricane Harvey has gone where no storm has gone before. It's a lot of people have been affected, flooding everywhere. It's places that haven't flooded before flooded. And there's some people that I know lived in the house 80 years. They grew up there, flooded. It never flooded before until now. Unprecedented, Harvey is in many ways. This is Harley Jones. He's with the communications team with Red Cross, based in Chicago, here on assignment, obviously. Talk to me about the short term needs that you've been fulfilling over the last seven to 10 days and the long term needs moving ahead. So, our, our focus has been on, on sheltering people, right? So, people were pulled out of their homes at the height of the storm uh, in helicopters and in boats. And so, our mission since day one has been to make sure they have a safe, uh, comfortable place to stay and that they have all the things that they need. I mean, we literally had to take wet clothes uh, that people were pulling off because of the flood and, and be able to give them clo dry clothes to put on and to make sure they had food and, and a safe place to stay. Medicine, diapers, baby formula, and the list goes on and on. Absolutely. So we've been meeting all of those needs, not only with the generosity of the community, uh, but with our government partners here, as well as our, our different uh, nonprofit organizations who have all been wrapping around these people. Well, we're proud to partner with you as well at WGN. One of the questions that I keep hearing from people when I tell them, I'm going down to Houston, we're going to cover this. They want to know where their money is going per dollar, and they're going to be sure that the money they donated gets to the Harvey folks who need it. Absolutely. So when people make a financial donation to an organization that they trust, um, they can you know they can feel good about where those dollars are going. So from the Red Cross perspective, uh, we've had more than 250 shelters open now for, for the greater part of a week and a half uh, with more than 30,000 people. And so you can imagine not only the, the volunteers that it takes to bring in to be able to run that and support them, uh, but just the logistics of a shelter like this uh, here at the RGB Center, which at, at our GRB Center at, at the height was over 10,000 people. And so everything you you need to be able to run a small city like that um, costs dollars. And so those financial donations are going directly to that mission to help shelter people and make sure that they have everything that they need. I've heard 91 cents to every dollar goes directly to the, the Harvey cause. Is that correct? A absolutely. So the Red Cross uh, is, is proud of that. Uh, the Red Cross works on a primarily volunteer uh, with a volunteer workforce. And so we mobilize volunteers uh, through the generosity of the American people uh, and the financial donations to be able to support that from all over the country. So even just here at this shelter, we have Red Cross volunteers that do this work every day in their hometown, and they come here to support people uh, when, when it's needed most. Thank you so much. And the fact is Irma might be right around the corner as well. A little bit later, they're going to take us to a distribution center at uh, the airport north of town, which is the George Bush International Airport, if I'm correct. Is that right, Harley? And we'll uh, show you some of the sights and scenes from there. For now, reporting from uh, downtown, the George R. Brown Convention Center. Dina and Steve 
I'll throw it back to you. Okay. Patrick Elwood, thank you for that. We're going to give you that number one more time to text for donations. It is 90999. You can also go to redcross.org. We'll be right back.